We'll call the regular meeting the Upshaw County Commission to order. We'll begin with a moment of silent meditation and prayer followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time we'll have the reading of the minutes of the August 1st. 2013 Upshaw County Commission meeting. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. The County Commission of Upshaw County, West Virginia, held their regular meeting at the Courthouse Annex on Thursday, August 1st, 2013 at 9 a.m. Donnie Tanney called the meeting to order. There were present Donnie Tanney Commissioner, Troy Brady Commissioner, Megan Pomeroy County Administrator, Jennifer Dinklo, Assistant County Administrator, and Jacqueline Dinklocker, Secretary. The meeting began with a moment of silent meditation and prayer followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. All motions passed unanimously unless otherwise stated. After the reading of the minutes, on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by Donnie Tanney, the Commission approved the regular meeting minutes of July 25, 2013, as submitted. Megan Pomeroy provided a review of the request for a donation, donation from James Ferry, Lewis Upshur, LEPC Chairman. The Commission previously approved the budgeted amount of $2,000 for this purpose during the March budget session. Therefore, no action is required at this time. The funding will be used to offset expenses related to emergency planning. After discussion on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by Donnie Tenney, the Commission approved Samantha Atchison and Ralph Bennett as volunteers for the facility for the facility conditional upon their acceptance of volunteer program policies and procedures and approved Jacqueline Cartwright as volunteer for the Lewis Upshur Animal Control Facility. Ms. Cartwright has already signed all required forms. <clears throat> Megan Pomeroy advised that county resident Ashley Howard made a contribution of cat litter, food, and supplies from the proceeds of a bingo event and the Fraternal Order of Eagles made a donation of $1,000 to the Lewis Upshur Animal Control Facility. Donnie Tenney expressed appreciation for the gifts. The Commission reviewed the following for your information items. Number one, correspondence from NESCO Incorporated regarding blasting activities. May District commenced August 21, 2013 through August 20, 2014. Number two, Division of Justice and Community Services Grant Award, Upshur County Stop Team, Project Number 12, VAW 020, in the amount of $30,000 for July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2014. Number three, Agendas and or Notice of Meeting, as listed. Number four, Meeting Minutes and or Financial Reports, as listed. Number five, Meetings, as listed. Six, appointments needed or upcoming as listed. The commission recessed at 9.20 a.m. The commission reconvened at 9.30 a.m. Steve Langer, E911 Communications Center Director, appeared before the commission and provided an update on the status of the emergency zone mapping project. Mr. Linger has met with all county fire chiefs and Upshur County Firefighters Association and all except Banks District have signed off on the boundary maps or certifying documentation for acceptance of the boundary divisions as designated. After a discussion on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by Donnie Tenney, the commission approved and authorized Mr. Linger to submit the emergency zone maps to the office of the West Virginia State Fire Marshal for their approval. Mr. Linger advised that Landmark Forestry LLC is still working on developing a CD slash DVD for laptop usage by fire departments when on calls to help with locating structures and or fire hydrants. The commission approved all invoices for payment. The commission approved all vacation orders. 
The commission approved the following settlements as listed. The commission approved the following exonerations and or refunds as listed. The commission approved the following requests for time out of office for commission employees as listed. The commission approved the following consolidation of land tracts as listed. With no further business on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by Donnie Tenney, the commission meeting adjourned at 11.15 a.m. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as read? Not on ask for a motion to be approved as such. So moved. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Okay, we have a uh, resignation of Benton Wingler, E911 Communication Dispatcher, effective August the 1st, 2013. Any additional information on that or just? Uh, no, he, he's a recently new employee, um, part-time, just starting out in training and decided that um, I think he had another job opportunity, so he took that. It's not his cup of tea. Okay, well, I'd ask for a motion that we accept his resignation. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Next item, resignation of Waldo Cochran, Lewis Upshur Animal Control Facility employee, effective August the 2nd, 2013. And we have his resignation letter. He actually asked the facility manager to write it for him, and then he signed it, but that's... Okay, well, we certainly appreciate his um, help in his job at the animal control facility and wish him well in his future endeavors. So I'd ask for a motion that we accept his resignation. So moved. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. And we have notification of press release. U.S. Marshal John Foster speaking about bullying, bullying forensic Mondays at American Legion. Monday, August the 12th at 6 to 9. This is um, part of their Forensic Mondays program, I believe. Um, there's contact information and registration on the second page of that uh, part of the packet. Um, but he, this gentleman um, has quite a distinguished career. He was a state trooper, a U.S. Marshal. Um, he has a lot of experience, and he's going to be here on Monday to talk about bullying and the effects it has and long-lasting. Um, so that is Monday from 6 to 9, and it does look like you have to register. Okay. So we'd encourage everyone to attend that and learn more about bullying and what can be done to help prevent it. And we have our agendas and notices of meetings coming up and our minutes and financial reports. And that looks like that's, do you have anything else? I do, um, just a couple things. Uh, I know that we have received a lot of phone calls about our fire fee statements. Um, I believe that normally they go out, um, I believe July 15th, I think. Um, this year we've run into some obstacles to getting that out on time, so that is going to be pushed back. Um, I believe that we are going to do our best to get it out by the end of August. Um, so that the mailing will go out by the end of August sometime, and therefore the due date, delinquent date, and civil action dates will also be pushed back. So, um, you know, the due dates and everything will be pushed back in uh, a similar amount of time from when we mail it out. Um, I'll have more dates and concrete dates for everybody later on, but um, I know that everybody is looking out and watching for that, so I just wanted to make that announcement that it is a little bit late, but we'll have more concrete dates coming up. Um, They'll still have the same amount of time to pay it. Yes, yes. Um, so I think if we get it out by the end of August, I believe the due date will be sometime in September. But but I'll have more dates for everybody later. Um, and then I also just want to mention we received another donation, um, $600 for the purchase of a vest for one of our sheriff deputies. Very good. It's another very generous um, donation to the county from a citizen. Oh, from who? Certainly appreciate it. From a county resident, um, mm -hmm. Charles Canfield, Canfield Consultant. Okay. So just want to make mention of that and our appreciation. I appreciate that. That is it. Okay, you gentlemen have anything? No. Buddy? No, nothing other than we certainly appreciate people that makes donations. Right. It helps everything out. That's true. Um, 
Okay, well, I guess we've got some bills to pay, so we'll start paying our bills.